Oh, what a pleasant tune. Welcome along. And welcome back. It's Commander Bolokov here. Looking at our latest game that we're looking at. It's in its uh, alpha release at this very moment. And this is uh, Star Citizen. Uh, which is uh, not out on general release at the moment. Uh, so you're sort of supporting this game. But it's been, um, I think it's been going since around, oh, what is it, 2014? Something like that. Right, let's get stuck straight in. I've had a little dab all this, build up some credits, and uh, trying to get used to the um, flying dynamics of this uh, game. I've also been into the Elite uh, Dangerous as well. We've got something, some video of that coming up uh, shortly as well. Um, that game reminds me of the 80s. It's one of the first um, games I got on the uh, ZX Spectrum uh, back in 1984. I think it was on the uh, Firebird brand. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit. I've still got this uh, cough here. Uh, the Firebird brand, and uh, it's come a long way um, as well. Find out, but anyway, this is Star Citizen. Uh, as you can see, I'm laying down, and I am at. I should be at a space station on here at this very moment. Now you'll have to bear with me because. Um, I've just upgraded one of my monitors to one of these um, 21 to 9 um, things, which is probably why the recording on this will be looking like it's stretched and letterbox if you're looking on a normal 16 to 9 screen. But here we are. Uh, we're in one of these um, easy hab um, apartments, which are a bit like porter cabins, um, or those Chinese um, modules um, that you can, that you can uh, spend a night in. Let's have a quick look around. Uh, let's go outside, shall we? If I can get the door open. Come on, door open. Thank you very much. Right, here we are, deck three. And these are the easy hab um, accommodations here. We're in there, so let's take a quick look outside. That's me, there I am. Yep. Looking good in me spandex. Okay, yep. I, I mean, what's drawn me to this game is the graphics. I mean, I may be right on the borders here of uh, struggling with this game because um, I've only got a um, an i5 9600K processor, um, 16 gig of Corsair RAM, and uh, what's my graphic card? GTX 1050 Ti which is coping at 1080 with this, although at the moment the resolution's at uh, 2560 uh, by 1080. And it's doing a reasonable job. These are all on uh, high settings at the moment, not ultra high. So, uh, you know, you might be seeing a little bit of uh, stutteriness there, here and there. Right, okay, let's, um, let's find my ship. I've upgraded my ship to a Avenger Titan if we can find it right so here we are we're in this main space um, uh, this is like a portal um, which is just outside the planet um, that we're surveying around at the moment Port Olyser is where we are right, my ship is stored so I'm going to retrieve that and it'll let me know um, where it's been delivered to B07. Okay, so um, let's make our way to the landing pads. Right, 04 that way, landing pad 10 that way. So they're going to be the other side, yeah. 7 and 8 over there. Uh, 5 to 8 is over there. We're on 7. Uh, that way. Through the airlock. We'll have to um, <coughs> decontaminate ourselves. Right, let's uh, get in there. After, excuse me, I'm still a big noob on this game, so um, you know you might see me uh, struggling with some things. I know it's frustrating watching videos where that you know you, you're new to a game and this thing's got sort of totally different flying dynamics to um, a few other games, and it's frustrating to see <laughs> someone struggle. So I've, I've had a bit of practice, built up some of my credits. Um, I've upgraded to this ship. This is the um, Aegis Avenger Titan. 
which um, you know is sort of I'd say a mid-range uh, ship allows me to do a bit of exploration um, handle myself in a um, combat situation although I've not really got into many skirmishes yet and uh, it carry a bit of um, cargo as well I should have done enter ship there shouldn't I there we go then it'll do it itself right enter the ship there we go up the ladder and in we get into the cockpit <coughs> I think what I'll do here I'm gonna get out the um, the pilot seat look at that automatically turns around take you a little little brief um, show of the ship this is my little quarters here uh, little bed you know that allows you to log or if you land on another planet and uh, you know you, you've got no more time to spend on the game you can log out and um, hopefully you end up in the bed not always been my experience um, usually works um, but as I say this is an alpha release uh, release and um, you know sometimes it doesn't so okay let's um, let's get out here what's happened here with my door come on open oh don't say it's trapped me no okay I can get through that way right here we go here's my uh, cargo hold um, allows me to um, do some you know um, missions where I can uh, transport cargo around and other bits and bobs and here we go is a rear door to go up and down in uh, allows me to take uh, my goods to planets afar and moons right okay without a due I know I filled up and because um, you've got two lots of fuel on here you've got your hydrogen um, fuel for blasting around and then you've got your quantum drive fuel which allows you to um, quantum jump between systems at a rapid rate right okay let's turn my systems on it's going to do it right there you go Aegis combat assist activated Activated. Systems right. green. Engines online. Okay, engines online. Now I should, but I don't think I've activated it. So excuse me a minute. I'm just going to go quickly out and see uh, where my voice activation thing is. Is it gone? What have I done with it? Oh, there it is. Okay, voice attack. So I've got voice attack, and um, I've got a I've got a little guest here. Where is she? Let's open that. Uh, okay yeah it's just giving me some security um, things here uh, that's Star Citizen right sorry about this um, totally unprepared okay Kate are you there oh what's happened here uh, change logs update HCS now okay well, I'm not gonna update you it's, it's, it's saying there's, there's an update but I'm gonna I'll, I'll do that later okay engine start Engines on. On. Oh, there she is. Right, that voice there you heard where she just said on is Kate Russell. I don't know if you remember Kate Russell, especially if you're in the UK. She was on, the, was it BBC Click? Um, there, Yeah, back in the day, in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would. <laughs> okay, right, so we've got engine power on. Here we go. You can see the splendor of the uh, spaceship that we're on here at this very moment okay so a quick look around there's the planet there that's crusader which is a big gas giant and we're just about to lift off from here and we're going to plot a course I'm not going to do a mission today i'm going to take you um to a planet called hurston where that there's been bio experiments going on and um, there's sort of vegetation and uh, water all in its sort of early stages of what we could you, you probably say in its genesis status there's another ship going off there okay right let's um, get permission from the sort of air traffic control here to leave the station which we're going to do now you are clear to launch thank you very much right okay let's give it a bit of thrust is me engines on engines on Yeah, I'm getting, as you can see, Kate can be uh, quite frustrating sometimes. She'll do things when she wants to. So we'll just move the microphone there. Um, engines on. On. Thank you, Kate. 
Okay, so let's power up. Gear up. Landing gear is raised. Landing gear retracted. Thank you, and please visit again. Right, okay, so we're going to our uh, planetary uh, map here, which allows us to um, plot courses. So there we are at uh, Port Olisar. We'll zoom out because um, we're going into a different system. Um, not that one. This is the Crusader system. So if I zoom out even more, we go into the next system. And what I want is this system here. This is Hurston. This planet doesn't always show up, but... Uh, a lot of calls to it there so if I set the roots um, yeah this star map sometimes <laughs> doesn't always do what you want it to do all right let's go into Hurston there's Hurston yes in you go no I just had it a minute ago right let's zoom out and zoom back in again okay right clear the roots We'll keep zooming in. Nope. That's a good start, isn't it? This is what happens, you see, when you're in noob. Oh, we certainly don't want to go there. That's uh, some asteroid belts. Hurston. Right, okay. Uh, do I have to go into the Stanton system first? There we go. Then Hurston. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we'll go to there. Set route. Fire missile. No, don't fire a missile, for God's sake, Kate. Cancel missile. All right, so we'll go there. Set route. Um, Hurston, Lawville. Well, it'll take me to Lawville, and we'll, we'll, we'll change that when we get there. Because... Uh, this is going to get rather boring watching me doing this. Right, so here we are. Um, we target up here. So we can go straight into a space jump using what is called our quantum drive. Spall quantum drive. Okay, Commander. Oh, excuse me, why? Wipe the sweat off my brow there. That's uh, Kate Russell in the background. Sorting things out, right? Okay, let's uh, jump off to this system. Right, so here we go. We've got 31 million kilometers to go. And we've just uh, broken into our quantum drive here. And as you can see, we're going, I think we're going at the speed of light or something like that. There's um, the planet Crusader in the background disappearing. There's me. In the cockpit, doing the bizzo, and we're going this way. This will take some time, so I'll join you when we get down to the last million. Okay, down to our last 500,000 kilometers uh, until we reach Hurston, and uh, then we're going to pick a package. From there. Here we go, out of quantum drive. Here is the planet Hurston. And we're out. Okay, I'll just wait for the uh, quantum drive to cool down. And as you can see on my HUD display there, it's cooling down right now. That was quite a jump. That was around about 12 minutes in real time. You have had the luxury of uh, not having that right. So I'm going to take, take the frost right off here. And, uh, okay. Uh, Spall Quantum Drive. All right, then. Thanks, Kate. All right, so... Ah, right, okay. I know what I need to do. First of all is clear the route on here so that uh, when I go to Spool... Uh, okay, Spall Quantum Drive. Sometimes she does it, sometimes you don't. Depends how she feels. Spall Quantum Drive. Why do I sound like Daffy Duck, then? I don't want to alarm you, but should the thrusters be smoking? 
Um, what have you done, Kate? Spall Quantum Drive. Right away, Commander. Good girl. Thank you. You're welcome. She's <laughs> she's such a hoot. Right, let's see what we got here. So um, there's Hobart. Um, I'm trying to think. Some of these bases down here, um, here I am. That that was a hostile thing. Um, some of these are hostile. If you go unannounced, um, they do shoot at you. Oh yes. Right, so I want to try and get somewhere on the planet. I will go Sherman. Sod it. Let's see what's down there. Right, we'll let that spool up. And I can jump just to take some of the mileage out of this. Bottom travel initiated. That'll take us down to around about 50 kilometers within range of that, that base. I've just got a feeling because we're coming unannounced. It's going to uh, <laughs> be a bit hostile towards us, so I'll head towards it and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Right, here we go. So we're getting down to the planet's surface now. As you said, we're about 30 odd kilometres away. And already you can see just through that little bit of atmosphere, the graphics in this are absolutely gorgeous. As I say, I haven't got a top end graphics card, I've got a sort of mid range one, which is uh, probably. Uh, becoming a little bit out of date now 1080 Ti um, but it, it, it just still looks gorgeous right so here we go we're heading down to the planet now with about 30 odd kilometers uh, to go as you can see it's quite a mountainous region here and I suppose the composition of the planets in terms of uh, colorization is a little bit like Mars you'll find this when you go to different places they've all got their own characteristics um, there's one I think it's uh, Yela which is like the moon yeah this this is very uh, this is very mountainous region here that we're, we're going to I'm hoping that uh, we can see some of the vegetation that's uh, taking place on this planet right now Am I coming in too hot? I think so. I've got about um, 3,000 metres before we go, so I'm going to slow down now, let you take in that splendour of this planet. I don't think... Yeah, I'm being fired upon. I told you, didn't I? If, I, if, you, if you come in unannounced, they get a bit, they get a bit nasty. Right, so we'll, we'll come away from that particular base. Um, but we'll find somewhere to... Uh, settle down and uh, take a quick look outside shall we I can still hear it in the background there firing away now I don't know if the frame rate is as good via the XSplit recording I'm using XSplit um, to record this at the moment so I won't know till we've done this to see if um, oh let's get out of that peaks way there yeah, this, this is a bit Marsish round here. What we do, we'll, we'll find somewhere sensible to land. And uh, we'll have a quick look around. But I do want to take you to a couple of destinations on here, because they, they are quite different, right? This, this is looking a bit flat here. Okay, let's have a look down. We've got some sort of rock formations down here. Which is not going to be of much interest, but just to give you an idea of um, the level of detail that you do see. We're just going to land here. It's before this uh, cluster of rocks to have a look. What's going? Oh, there is some vegetation down here, which is uh, is interesting. Okay, let's take the cruise control off. Um, gear down. Gear down and slow. Landing gear deployed. Right, thank you, Kate. That's uh, gear down there. Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently, to get full control of this, um, the voice commands, I've got to do the extended keyboard. Um, and I go, look at that! Landing complete. <laughs> wow! Just, just look at that. Let's turn the uh, engines off. But we should do it. Kate sometimes reacts to them engines off 
No, I'll do it myself. Kate's a bit... How can I say? A bit moody sometimes. She doesn't want to do... Do as I tell her. But there you go. Right. Okay, let's uh, let's exit the ship, shall we? Let's, uh, we're going to go out through the uh, canopy and just have a quick look around here. I, I absolutely love these graphics. They're fantastic. I mean, I'm, I'm not a big gamer. I'm, I've, you know, but compared to some of the games I've uh, been playing over the last few years, this, these, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Let's get an outside panoramic shot here. Um, here we are on the on the surface of Hurston, um, and this is just one location here. There's 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 locations here with um, lakes and seas and stuff like that. Look at that sun. I don't know if that sun's going up or down, but you do get sort of the um, day night cycles going on here as well. Wow, this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous let's take a let's take a jog over to here what is that over there that's like some some messed up tree let's go and investigate that what are they is that some sort of alien bugs yep there's some sort of tree Take a run over to it. Wow, look at that. Aye, aye, Commander. Yeah, aye, aye, Kate. I think she fancies me. Right, look at that. That That is fantastic. There's some sort of, sort of um, growth on it as well, as you can see here, some sort of red growth. Whether that's... I don't know. I don't know, that's... Take a closer look. Look at the level of detail. It's fantastic. Like the yeah, the bark stripped away there. Is that sort of dying? I don't know. And then you've got these sort of palm tree type things as well. Swaying in the breeze. Cactuses. Are these fruit? Are these like uh, what they call prickly pears? I don't know if we can interact. No, not yet. Maybe that's something to come. Will this be like a food stuff? I, f I first had prickly pears. Uh, God, that was ages ago, in the early 80s, when as a family we went off to Malta for a holiday. Never seen it figs and prickly pears that come from sort of cactus. It's like this, I suppose. Take a crouch down here and look at this uh, plant knife. I feel like David Attenborough and here we are on planet Hurston. This vegetation. Now I'm sounding like an Australian uh, <laughs> David Attenborough there. Wow, look at this. Fantastic. It's a quick run over here, but just look at the level of detail here. There's some sort of... Uh, Cactuses with fruit, these type of cactuses as well, whatever they are. Let's take a close look at them. Some sort of vegetation. The sun is definitely going down, that's setting. You can actually see it move. Look at that. Look at it against the mountain peak there. It's going down. Okay, right, so, well, uh, I mean, we might stick around for a sunset. What do you think? Just to see what it's like, and then we can zoom off to somewhere else. I mean, just look at the lighting in this program. It's this, this, this game, this software, this simulator, whatever you want to call it. That's fantastic. Look at that. Dust storms being blown up. Oh wow! Let's let's get next to the ship and we'll uh, we'll just just look at this sunset for a while. You got you've got to 
take all this in to look at it. This is this just a, just there's a lot of work gone into this. I assume a hell of a lot of money for the time that this has uh, been going. This was crowdfunded. This game, but you know it must take something to 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 come up with stuff like this. You know, I, I've seen the haters. I've seen, you know, people that moaning that there's not enough gameplay in this. But, you know, it's just the experience doing this. I think, oh, you know, two, nowadays everyone wants something yesterday. And they want their shoot-me-ups and stuff like that. With, But just look. I don't think they appreciate this. They don't look around. You know, this... This is gorgeous. Just look at that landscape. And there's lots more to see yet. Yeah, it's not just this. There's lots more to see as that sun goes down. That will make a beautiful screenshot, I'm gonna, which I'm going to do. Let's have that. We'll have that. Possibly the thumbnail. Just look at the lighting in this. I mean, as I say, I haven't particularly got a high-end graphics card, but still... This is gorgeous. I'm going to have a sip of my beer while I watch that sun go down. Beautiful. So I'm being selfish now. I'm doing, I'm doing some screenshotting. Okay, look at that, beautiful. As the sun goes down, living it up, as level 42 would say. Okay, um, let's get back into the ship. Let's have a look at our next destination. We're going to try and follow the sunset round. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is not... Um, a, <laughs> a tutorial into this game. This is just looking around as a newbie myself. Uh, Kate, engines on. If you can be bothered. Engines on. On. Thank you, Kate. Sorry if I uh, distracted you from anything that you were doing. Obviously far too busy to <laughs> respond to my commands. Okay, right, so let's take off. Gear up. Landing module retracted. Landing gear retracted. Right, well, let's give it some while as we go up. Let's turn around. Just look at that sunset. Just look at this. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It really is. The work that has gone into this. Man, oh man. That is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Let's fly into that sunset. Does if, if if I'm not saying much, this. This really does take your breath away, this, this game. This is the closest, I think, certainly in my lifetime and probably in our next generation's lifetime, the closest we're ever going to get to planetary exploration for ourselves to see in this sort of detail. I mean, okay, this is someone's imagination, but... It's still beautiful, isn't it? Look at that sun going down. Let's let's get some height. Bit of afterburner to help us get up there a bit quicker. Man. Look at that. Look at that sunset. Wow. 
Okay, so what we'll do now, we're going to elevate up so that um, we get out the atmosphere so it makes it just that little bit easier for us to uh, select our next next location because um, when you have to spool the quantum drive um, if you're too close to the surface it, it won't show you much so we'll get up to about 50,000 I think that's meters the altitude it measures it in is it meters or feet I don't know but the atmosphere isn't too thick on this planet so Yeah, we're going to be concentrating on this game, um, Elite Dangerous. I haven't done one for Elite Dangerous yet. That's another one that I've been getting used to. Um, so there'll be some videos of that coming as well. Transport Fever, where I'm in, where I'm at at that game. And some more of the um, Workers and Resources, the Soviet game. Um, some more of them coming up in the next week or so as well. So... Spread the news, subscribe, and uh, get those notifications as we bring out new content for you. Right, so I'm about 40,000 meters now. I'm going to accelerate right back. Now you've got to watch this. Look, I'm pulling 7 Gs there, and if you go too fast, look, you black out. Things start going red. Oh, okay, let's uh, calm down, calm down. Right, let's take a look back towards the planet. Spall quantum drive. Affirmative. Right, let's see uh, what we've got here. Well, let's head off towards the sun. At least. Um, well, going out of the planetary system there. Let's have a look here. What we got over the other side? That's Hadley, Edmonds, Lawville. Now, Lawville was the main base. Now, I've, I've had lots of issues with Lawville, um, whether I can't respawn properly and my ship comes back in pieces. And looking online, um, quite a few other people have as well had um, problems with that. Right, we go to... What's that ad line? Let's 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 zoom off to there, shall we? Quantum travel initiated. Hopefully we'll follow the sun round. As we jump well not that much well. Oh yeah, we are, we are. We're going into daylight here. Another location. And hopefully this one's not so hostile where they start shooting at you if you if you if you sort of turn up unannounced there's a few places like that on this planet fine if you're doing uh, shipping uh, contracts and stuff like that where that they know that you're coming I think if you just turn up unannounced they'll they'll just they'll just start shooting at you right okay here we are uh, we're in some daylight here spool quantum drive confirmed I've only spoiled it so I can get an idea where this base is to see if they're just as hostile. That's that, that's our MC, that's a outer marker. You get these outer markers um, around the planet that you can jump to. So you can, if you're looking for a destination on the side of the planet that's obstructive, you can go to these outer markers. Um, that sort of zoom you around the planet super quick. Right, it's okay, we're about 10 kilometers away from this base. Hopefully these aren't going to be so hostile. You can see here there's like tracks or roads in this area. Right, let's, uh, let's come off the gas a bit. About four kilometers away. Yep, we're being shot at. See, this one might power up. Get close to the ground so they can't hit you. So we've got all these structures here around this, this base. What are these? 
There's lots of these work. Yeah, I'm still being shot at. Come on, let's go. Let's get around the other side of this. <clears throat> okay, I should be out of their line of fire now, he says. Yeah, I want to know, what are these columns here? What is, what's this all about? Let's take a closer look. Gear down. Down and locked. Thank you. Landing gear deployed. You're welcome, Commander. Yeah, we got these structures. That, are these some sort of communication markers? And there seems to be a lot of toxic waste around them as well. We've got these sort of barrel things with this yellow sort of greenish toxic waste that appears to be coming from. Let's, let's take a look and I don't want to get too close to this toxic waste because I looked at Cobra TV um, and his stream on um, Star Child and he recently done a mission and he had this sort of growth coming out of his space helmet from his face and I don't know uh, whether he realised at the time, but other people did in the comments on his latest video. And uh, I don't know whether that growth is attributed uh, to picking up some something from the toxic waste um, that he may have picked up on some planet from something like this. So I'm not going to get too, too close. Yeah, I'm a chicken. <laughs> but I saw what was growing out of his face. Uh, hopefully he sorted that out. Okay, engines off. Offline. Let's uh, exit the ship. Let's just have a quick look round here, see what's going on. And then I think uh, we're going to call this one a, a day. I'm going to unspore from this planet. By going to bed on your ship, it's like a save point, um, which should work so that I don't have to go through the rigmarole of going through a space station and all that next time I log on. But look at this. What is this? This is this toxic waste. And what are these things? What I want to do is look at one of these things that's not too near the these toxic barrels. Well, there isn't many that's not too near them. There's one here. I think it's too late. I'm standing in the middle of the stuff anyway. But this is for research purposes. What is this thing? And there's lots of them around this location. A hell of a lot. Are these markers simply markers for where the toxic waste has been put? Whilst they sort of regenerate this planet? I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time out here because I don't want growths on my face like the Cobra TV guy got. Well, here we go, guys. This is Star Citizen. And what, you know, I, I'm just drawn in by this. I'm a sucker, as, it, as I say. No, this is not on release. By far, I suppose, at the moment. What are they up there? What's that? All right, folks. We're going to go check this, these white columns out up here before I sign out. Uh, he's running and we're doing our best. I just want to know what them columns are up there. But I just love, I just love the graphics in this game. It, it, it's fantastic. Man, oh man. Other trees, they're, they're d very dead. Is that something to do with the uh, toxicity around here? Man, oh man. Well, in our next episode, um, we're going to go to um, a location that's got some uh, sea, lakes, and uh, other sort of vegetation around it as well. And we're also going to be doing a mission on a delivery um, just to uh, build some credits up here. There you go. Yeah, some very, very dead trees here. 
So I hope you can join me for that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications uh, to find out when our next adventures are in this game and many others. Yeah, these are these look very dead. And I wonder if it's anything to do with these things here. As you can see in the horizon here, there's, there's lots of these columns. Is this why they were getting a bit shirty with me? That, you know, they don't want this sort of stuff discovered? I don't know. But from the planet Hurston and our adventures here, this is Commander Bolokov signing off to be back with you on another excursion. Like I say, with this game, I'm not interested in the, uh, uh, the shoot-me-up side of it. I'm more into the exploration side of this um, this experience. I'm not going to call it a game. This is an experience, folks. This will make me buy... <laughs> was it a 2060 GTX card? If this is the sort of graphics we can look forward to. That's certainly on my Christmas list. Right, folks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put myself to bed here on this planet so that next time we come back, it's just a jump to the other side. To. Oops, am I close enough here? Let's have a look. There we go, let's get that door down. Yeah, let's climb aboard. Shut the rear door. Through into my. Um, into my private quarters. Yeah, we're gonna enter the bed. In we go, and we're gonna log off. Classified. Classified. What? What's this? Because I'm getting into bed. Kate, calm down, dear. Calm down. I'll be ready for you in a minute. Right, I'm logging out. I'll see you on the next one, folks. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget subscribe and uh, hit the notifications and spread the word. We're here doing adventures with Star Citizen. I'll catch you again very soon.